Alexa, shut up. What is going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Everyone say hi to Gizmo. Gizmo, say hi to YouTube. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about one controversial uh, topic. What is better? Life-size bus or statues? Statues versus bus. What is the superior collectible? So I own, I don't know how many at this point, but let's just say 50 life-size bus. And I've sold probably, call it 10. And I've owned probably, let's just say, 200 statues and sold probably 200. Uh, oh, Gizmo. So I have a pretty good idea of, you know, the best bus ever created, the best statues ever created, and whatnot. So I wanted to give you guys my two cents. Uh, and this really varies by company as well. It's not just like a straight line of, yeah, this is better, that's better. So we're going to go with this by company and then tally up the results, and that is the winner. So let's talk about the biggest statue company originally and largest distributor now, Sideshow Collectibles. Sideshow's not really a major player, in my opinion. They used to be. They were the original player for me. Uh, however, over the years, they've gone to more of like a budget statue and not as many and more of a distributor uh, for, you know, some of the larger companies like Prime One. But Sideshow's still probably bigger than like Queen and Infinity. Uh, but, so I've owned a plethora of Sideshow bus over the years. Oh, let's talk about that for a sec. So I had like, let's say the Deadpool bust in the Deadpool 1 4th premium format. I liked the Deadpool 1 4th premium format more than the bust. So the bust wins there. Then you have the Venom bust in the Venom premium format. I liked the Venom bust more. So now we're at a tie. Uh, then you look at other items, uh, you know, like some of their better statues. Because we got to look at the better statues versus the better bus. You got the Wolf Predator. Uh, you know, legendary scale, one-third scale. And I've seen the Sideshow Wolf bust in person. I like the one-third statue far better. You got... You know, there, there's so many. I can't talk about all of them, obviously. But I think with Sideshow in general, their statues are better than their bus. I think in general... Most of their busts are done very poorly. The detail doesn't match the scale. And their statues have better concepts and are a better value for your money and just better. So, in category one for Sideshow, statue wins. Let's talk about Prime One Studios. Now, Prime One is much bigger on statues than their busts. I've only owned a few of their busts. We have the Fugitive bust. I own the Prime One Independence Day bust. And I swear to Jupiter, that might be it. So it's obviously a no-brainer statue wins because they've created so many cool statues. There's two statues right on this wall that are much cooler than that bust. Uh, I haven't seen the Fugitive one-fourth in person, but I'm sure it's fantastic. But Sideshow makes the best statues out there, you know, so some of the best for sure. And so their statues are way better than their bust when it comes to, you know, Prime One Studios. Uh, next, we'll talk about Elite Creature Collectibles slash Cinema Cat. So this is a very controversial one. Some people really prefer the bus. Some prefer this, you know, the statue. Like you look at Freddy, what is the superior of the two? Technically, this Freddy is taller, bigger base, has a full blown concept with infinity hell. Uh, but then the bust is bigger, a little bit more detailed, better likeness. Now, generally with bus, you're going to get more detail. It's bigger. And here's one thing. When you are looking at a statue, for the most part, you are looking at the face most of the time, depending on the statue, but you're looking at the face. So if you're looking at the face most of the time, why not just get a bust where the face is way freaking bigger, four times, three times bigger. So, you know, you look at this, that obviously is much bigger and it's more detailed than that. But when you look at this as a whole, seeing the base and everything, in my opinion, the statue on both of these are better than their busts. When you compare to the fawn, I like the maquette more than the bust. You know, you got Marcus and Lycan, I like the statues more than the busts. The Reaper, I probably like the bust more. For Pennywise, I like Pennywise bust more than the statue. But that is Blue Box, not the ECC bust. So I think in general with Elite Creature Collectibles, I gotta give it to the statues. I think the busts are extremely close. Like, this is one of the closest categories. Uh, however, I just feel like ECC's concepts on their statues are just second to none. And that, for me, is the winner. 
Uh, so ECC is the winner, or statues are the winner right there. So now statues have won three categories in a row. But then we go to two of the bigger bus companies out there. You got Queen Studios. So I own several Queen Studios one-fourth statues. You got those two right there. You have Thanos. We have all these busts that are Queen. You have Hulkbuster. Now, in my opinion, Hulkbuster is the best product Queen has released that I've owned. Uh, but if you compare, you can't just say one trumps all. You have to compare multiple. Looking at all of Queen Studios, like one force or just statues in general versus their bus, I think their busts are far, far better. You know, like way better. Uh, mostly because their busts are silicone. They're silicone. They're great concepts. They're incredible, just like detail all around with the glass eyes, hand punch tear. You know, where like when it came to Sideshow, their concepts were terrible. The detail was lacking. You know, ECC, the detail was there. I just think their one third concepts were better. And that's what made it win. But with Queen, I mean, their one force and statues are incredibly detailed as well. The concepts, I think, is the biggest lacking point on Queens. Plus, I feel like they underscale their statues outside of Hulkbuster, which is overscaled. But overall, Bus absolutely wins, like, hands down for me when it comes to Queen. When you come to Infinity Studios, I mean, here's the thing. Most of their, like, statues have all been, like, these weird Chinese, like, legendary characters like Wong Fei Hung or something like that. And then they have some random animals and creatures. And then they have a predator, like two predator statues. And I own the Berserker Predator, which is fantastic. But then they have these busts, the half-body bus. I got Superman, Batman, Joker. We got Bruce Lee. We got Catwoman and Harley we're going to be getting. Who knows? Maybe Mera. And who knows if someday I buy back Wonder Woman. Who knows? But when it comes to Infinity, bus win a uh, thousand percent more than the statues their busts are so incredible it blows my freaking mind you know people always question why i buy so many busts and infinity studios and queen is the reason their busts are so incredible like so incredible when you come and look at this display you're not looking at that or that you're looking at the three busts and wonder woman on horse no, if Wonder Woman Horse, if that was the standard Wonder Woman, you would never look at that one. You'd be looking at the bus the entire time. Anytime I've had, you know, friends and family come over and see the collection, they definitely are more impressed with bus and then the big boy statues like Wonder Woman on Horse, Hulkbuster, those type of statues. But when they look at this, they're not like, oh, wow, look at that, the whole Justice League. No, they're like, oh, my gosh, this Superman, it looks so real. You know, that's what they're impressed with. Uh, so when it comes to Queen and Infinity, Bus is 100% the winner. So now statues have technically won three categories. Bus have won two. But here's the thing. you got to like look at the best bus versus the best statues, sort of, and the possibilities of each. So with uh, like a really good bus, which for me is the Infinity bus, they have incredible presence, especially like Batman, Superman, Joker, uh, they're they're huge. They're three feet tall. They're like t two feet plus wide and deep. The likeness and detail is second to none. I don't think a statue can match this level of detail. Like even the J and D statues being silicone glass eyes, I still don't think the level of realism on them is quite as good as an Infinity bust. But like I'd definitely rather get an Infinity bust than a J and D statue. And granted, these are generally like three, four thousand. Those are two, three thousand. But I think I'd either spend the extra thousand to just get an Infinity bus versus a J and D statue. So, but J and D, in my opinion, aren't the best statues out there. If we're thinking the best statues out there, you got Wonder Woman on horse, you got Hulk Buster, my aliens, predators, and basically all of my ECC, you know, like all those one thirds, in my opinion, are some of the best one third skill statues ever created. Marcus, Lycan, you go to the Transformers room, you got King Ghidorah, Sauron, Shockwave, Optimus Prime, Jetwing. So when I compare something like this and this to a bust, you know, then it makes me think, yeah, well, a bus can't top this because of the concept. A bus can't conceptually be like this. You know, and I'm sure Queen Studios Optimus Prime bust is going to be amazing. It's going to have incredible presence, incredible detail, and it, I'm sure it's going to be freaking amazing. However, I don't think it's going to top this. 
conceptually it just can't it's impossible because it's a bust so i think it also varies on the characters characters makes a big difference you know a huge difference you know, like, Optimus Prime bust is really cool because there's so many mechanical car parts and there's a lot of detail that's going to go into that. Some busts can be very boring because of the character. Some statues can also be boring due to the character or just the concept. But when you get a really good looking bust, you know, with a really good concept like these half scale infinity busts, you know, like the Harley Quinn bust and this Joker bust are two of their best conceptual busts. Same with the... Uh, the Game of Thrones Khaleesi, Daenerys Targaryen, those three, in my opinion, are the best conceptual bust by Infinity Studios. We don't necessarily have to say likeness and sculpt, but concept-wise, I think they're the best. But when you look at the best concept statues, I still think statues wins in concept. But busts do win in detail. And like I said, when you are looking at statues, you are looking at the portrait, I would probably say at least 60 to 70% of the time. When I'm looking at my J&D Harley, yeah, sure, I'm checking out her sexy body and the awesome detail and, you know, everything, the tattoos and everything. But then you are also looking at that beautiful portrait. You're like, dang, she's gorgeous. Catwoman, I'm definitely looking at that portrait like 99% of the time because I think it's amazing. So when it comes to like these, I'm definitely looking at the portrait. But when it comes to like, Wonder Woman horse. I'm not necessarily checking out her portrait all of them. I'm just looking at the statue as a whole. So I think at the end of the day, if you're to take the best statues versus the best busts, I think statue wins. Especially when you get something like this. There's so much to see. Hulkbuster is not a piece you're necessarily going to look at the face a ton just because that face is just that. That's not something you necessarily want to look at. I'm looking at this piece as a whole, you know. And granted, you can look at bus as a whole, but you are focusing on that portrait 100%. You know, like Thanos, I love the armor and the base. Hulk, I don't look at his base or anything else outside that face. But, yeah, I think at the end of the day, I do prefer still statues. However, it also just depends on the type of statue and the type of bust. You know, because if we're comparing, like I said, an Infinity bus to a J&D, I prefer Infinity. Or just like a simple Prime 1 one third like this, I prefer the, st the bust, hands down. I think in most cases, the bust will win. I think probably eight, nine out of ten times, a bust will win as the superior to the counter alternative. You know, like, the only Hulk piece that will defeat this is the Cinema Cat Hulk. But any other Hulk out there... Like all the one force and whatever, this is better. Cinema Cat beats it though. But nine out of ten times the bus is gonna win. But if you have to take the best bus versus the best statues, statue wins in my opinion. So that is kind of my uh, opinion regarding the matter. So it's kind of a, a tricky one, but it all really boils down to the statue and the bust and the character. You know, for me, the Infinity Joker bust is the best Joker collectible out there. It defeats the statue and all other statues out there. You know, same with this Venom bust. It's the best Venom collectible. You know, I do like that Thanos bust much more than all three of my Thanos statues. You know, so it really just varies on the bust and the statue. But at the end of the day, I would say statues wins. And if I could only collect one thing, it would be statues versus busts. So that is it, though, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments below and what you ultimately prefer. Because I know I've had a lot of bust haters in my comments recently. And I'm like, dude, have you seen these in person? You may not. You think it's, oh, it's just a head. That's not necessarily just it. You know, when you look at like this Arnold bust, you're like, holy crap, that is so freaking amazing. You know, like these busts truly are incredible. And there's a reason I've bought over 50 because they complement the display and they look so freaking cool and they have such amazing presence. You know, so the bust definitely, like I said, will win nine out of 10 times, but at the end of the day, statues are better. So. Yeah, Gizmo is totally taking my work shirt. <laughs> but yeah, that is kind of my two cents on the matter. So any of you bus haters out there, I will say, have you ever seen like a legit silicone in person? Have you? Or are you just a hater because you can't afford it? Or you're just a hater to be a hater? 
Because I think in general, most people, when they come to my collection, they're most impressed by my life-size bus. And then those like key statues I've said about, you know, when people come in here, they're very impressed by the life-size stuff. That's what draws people's attention. Anyways, folks, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're looking to buy statues, use the links below. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.